Hi, this is Martin Espinoza with the Press Democrat. Um, I'm out here on North Pigdow Boulevard and Old Redwood Highway. There are a number of people uh, gathered here rallying in support of the uh, Petaluma Valley Hospital's OB unit, its maternity ward, which the hospital owner, Providence, is uh, uh, wants to close. They say uh, they can't safely staff the unit uh, and so, for the safety of, uh, of, 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 of their patients, they, they want to close it. Uh, these people here disagree. They think it's about money and that uh, Providence is trying to combine the maternity wards at Santa Rosa Memorial and Petaluma Valley Hospital. Uh, they want to just uh, consolidate those uh, OB services at Memorial. Uh, a lot of the people that I've talked to here are worried that that would put a lot of, um, uh, you know, expecting mothers or, or uh, you know, women who would like to have uh, a baby in the future would, would uh, just uh, put them at risk because they would have to drive either all the way to Santa Rosa or drive to, um, to, to Marin, Marin County. So that would create, they're saying that if they close the unit in the, uh, the maternity ward at Petaluma Valley Hospital, that would create what, what's called a, ma a maternity desert or an, or an OB desert. And that's no services uh, and a 42 mile gap between Marin and Santa Rosa where you don't have an OB, uh, a hospital obstetrics unit. So the reason they're gathering today is because the uh, Petaluma Valley, I'm sorry, the Petaluma Healthcare District is holding its meeting, a board meeting, today at 6 o'clock. And uh, they're supposed to hear from Providence uh, regarding the closure of the, or the planned or the, or the desired closure of the, of the unit. Petaluma Healthcare District used to own the hospital until about two years ago when they sold it to, um, when they sold it to Providence. Uh, the sale was contingent on a couple of, of promises, and one of which was to keep the OB unit open until 2025, at least 2025, and to keep the rest of the medical services at the hospital uh, open until, oh, even <laughs> for 20 years, I think, another 20 years. So five years, since it, uh, uh, they promised to keep it open for five years, Sorry, they promised to keep it open, keep the OB unit open for five years and the rest of the services for 20. Um, the hospital, Providence says that, uh, that it, it would like to close the unit sooner. And these people are out here protesting that. I want to, I want to come over here and talk to somebody that I've, that I interviewed. Hi. Hello. Okay, so... We're live here. Um, what's your name? My name is Lisa. Lisa, and uh, why are you here? I'm here because it's really important to me to not have the OB center be closed at the hospital. Um, I live just about two miles from the hospital, and I delivered my baby in 2012, and I wouldn't have been able to make it up to Santa Rosa. I could barely make it in the car for the five minutes driving to Petaluma Valley. So. I would have had to have delivered my baby in the emergency room at the hospital if the OB center wasn't there. At the at the emergency room. At the emergency room there, yeah, right. which would not have been a pleasant experience. And at I, all. I think that's one of the concerns that a lot of people have is that the emergency room here at the at Petaluma Valley is going to become the de facto maternity ward. Yeah. And that's not a good thing. No, not at all. No, definitely so, not. So what, what, what's your sign say? Open. Now, your daughter was holding a sign that I... That yes. You made this sign? What does it say? Countless... Countless jobs and then cute baby. So why throw that away? 
great. <laughs> so what do you think is going to happen? Well, I hope that they listen and that they, they don't close it and they find other solutions because um, it's a really wonderful um, place to have your baby and I think that they could make it even better. Um, and yeah, so that's what I hope happens. Explain this concept of a maternity desert or a, an OB desert. Uh huh. So if they close the OB center at Petaluma Valley, they, we, there would be a, around a 42 mile gap from the nearest um, OB centers down in Marin and then up in Santa Rosa. And so that's how far people would have to travel to have their baby. And let's hope they don't go into labor in the middle of rush hour or any time when all the snow there's tons of traffic on 101. I do see it some... It would take even, for, even longer. Right. I do see some signs here uh, uh, alluding to that. You know, yeah. nobody wants to give birth on the highway. Right. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. So there you have it. I'm going to sign off. I just wanted to do a little video here. I'm going to be attending the the district meeting today at 6 and that is expected to have a lot of people there um, it's probably going to go for quite a while